Hi there, I'm Mallory Damchik and I am one of the first grade teachers here at Minnesota Connections Academy. Today I wanted to show you a very simple game that you can play to practice math with your students at home with simply a deck of cards. This is one of my favorite games to play in live lesson with my students and you can modify it for addition, subtraction, multiplication. There's so many ways that you can play the game. So let me show you how to play. Okay, for this game, we're going to play a game of war, very similar to the classic card game of war. This time, we're going to modify it to practice with addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. So you can play with as many players as you'd like. I'm going to mo model today with two players, so you'd split the deck equally between two players. Typically, how you play is you would draw one card each, and the player with the highest score will win. To practice this with different math methods, you want to have the student draw two cards. So each player would draw two cards, and you can decide if you'd like to take the face cards out of the game or assign a value. I assign a value of 10 for any face card, but you could build up um, to 11, 12, and 13 if you would like. So to practice this with addition, each player draws two cards and then they add their two cards together. So we have 10 and 8 would be 18, and 10 and 10 in this instance would be 20. So this player with the 20 points would win that round and take their cards. To play with subtraction, same thing, you have two cards. Draw two cards. And then you would subtract, you take the higher number first and subtract the smaller number 10 minus 10 or 7 minus 6 and the player with the highest score after subtracting would win the round or the lowest score. You can change how you'd like to play it that way. A last way that you can play this game is with multiplication facts. You can have each player draw two cards and instead of adding or subtracting those two cards the players would multiply their cards. A 10 and a 5, 10 times 5, or 10 times 10. And the player with the highest score would win that round. You play until the one player has all of the cards in the deck. I hope you and your students have a blast playing this modified version of War. They won't even realizing, realize that they're practicing their math facts. They'll be having so much fun. If you try it out or find a new way to play, add it in the comments for us. We'll see you soon.